You have seen our Sun Princess review, full ship tour, cabin tour, food guide, but now it's time to compact five nights into a 20 minute vlog. Yes, the bits you haven't seen, a man singing on a train, plane food, cruise food, Ernest's terrible filming, our obsession with the lifts, the movies, the screens, and also ancient cities. Yes, welcome along to our vlog. It was a boys only trip. We left the girls at home in peace. But why don't the 4Bs do many cruise vlogs anymore? To find this answer, we need to go back in time. Well, we, I said to me, we're going on holiday, and this is where we are right now. <laughs> where? Hotel. Okay. Uh, nine. Yes, back in the day, Alice and Ernest loved performing on the 4Bs. Nowadays, we're not cool. So for the time being, until we have enough subscribers to compete with Mr Beast, they prefer just being in the background. Also, my vlogs, by the end, I always seem to be drunk. And who cared about day 10 and what we were having for breakfast? But recently, I've been inspired by great channels like Postcard and a Pint. So we've decided to do a fun vlog and we'll always do at least one vlog on each cruise. But look, let's begin. Oh, look, real vlog style, I'm making a cup of tea. Cheers, good morning. Welcome to another cruise vlog. This one is an exciting one. It's a boys only trip. Yes, we are cruising with the four Bs and normally we cruise as a four. Sometimes we cruise as a couple and sometimes alone. But this time it's a boys trip. Me and my son, Ernest, are heading away for five days. Yes, but where are we heading? We're heading on the brand new Sun Princess. Exciting times. That's enough, let's cut him there. He didn't say excited enough. Let's head to the airport, Gatwick Airport. We were flying to Athens. We did actually go to Weatherspoons, but do you know what? They had no breakfast items. Crazy, eh? So we couldn't have pints. We had our tea, went through, and we were taking off, heading to Athens. Now, the main theme of this flight, the crew were great, and we ate and drunk, and we ate and drunk, and we ate. Within no time, we were landing in beautiful Athens. We found a beach at the airport, interesting. And then it was on to the Metro. It was around 10 euros, 25 stops. Oh yes, we were on a tube for 25 stops, but it is direct. It goes straight to the port. We uh, had all different types of people sat opposite us. It was very interesting. And then we arrived at the hotel. I'll put the name of the hotel on the screen. Now you're probably thinking it, this is a bit fancy filming. I actually forgot to film in YouTube style and I actually filmed in short style, TikTok style. So I've just put two together and made it look very fancy. There we go, it was lovely. And we had Masako in the evening, that was gorgeous. It was to the port, it was 10 euros, around 10 minutes and then we could see Sun Princess in our sights. Here we go, you'll see a lot of these screens. Ernest was obsessed with them and always had to make sure that his name was on every screen, oh. on every floor. Oh, Let's go and find the cabin. I'll pop in the corner our guide to the cabin. It was pretty nice, nice five night stay in this cabin. Then it was on to filming our ship tour. Oh, hello there. Hi, welcome to Lotus Spa. Break for cake, not just yet. This was another of our obsessions, the lifts at the aft. Amazing views, we just went up and down, up and down all day. Ooh, what other ship has joined us? It's Celebrity, ahoy there. Then we started on the first of our premier desserts. 
Right, that's enough of the brief tour. You're here for a vlog, not a tour. Right, here's me trying to do some intro. We're on. We're on. We're on the Sun Princess. Welcome to Cruise. We're currently on the Sun Princess. Nope, didn't use any of those. But now some nice relaxing shots as we leave port. Cue the music. Boys are heading out. Silent disco, not for us. Some salmon, not tonight. It's to the main dining room. While you check out the stunning pudding, don't forget that like button. And for great cruise content, it is the subscribe button. 4B, say thank you. Managed to cut off the guy's punchline. Do you Brilliant. work on that cruise ship there? He says, yes, I do. He says, Are you the guy that always walks? It was then into the arena. This theatre is going to be cool, but more on the act that we saw coming up shortly. Time for a cocktail. Which one are you going to have? We were lucky to catch up with some fellow YouTubers. This was Emma and Don, and on board for the five nights with the amazing sweet natured and cruising gaze. We'd love to have spent more time with them, but most nights we were in bed at nine watching movies. This was a popcorn handbag from Sweet Natured. Which one? I don't know. Sweet. And this was the theatre. And this guy was excellent. He was kind of a modern xylophone player. He was excellent. Very good, but after 15 minutes, we did have a enough. But this theatre would have been so good if there was the shows. They're coming soon. Casino. Underage Ernest, sorry. More beautiful sounds in the atrium. Time to order breakfast. That is day one done. What's day two got in store? We are now in Turkey. We're in this place, Kusadasi. They're playing some traditional Turkish music and dancing to get you in the mood for turkeys. Most people head here for the local ancient city of Ephesus. Ephesus? Did I say that right? We had a stroll, took some pictures of the ship and then took some photos. The sun was always in our eyes. We got bothered by a lot of people to try and go into shops, so we returned to a very quiet ship. And it's pizza time. Answers on a postcard. What am I doing at the start of this clip? Nice healthy hot dog for lunch. Got some green in it. Ernest is deciding where we're going. He's having a good look. Um, deck 11, that's just what happens. These what, maps 21? are pretty cool. That, nothing. 19. Uh, no, part four. Movies are new to stories. Hope you're counting. This was premier dessert number two. And a thing we love on Princess Cruises, it's the gigs of the afternoon. I think that was Take That. Oh, yep. Yeah. Got to catch another movie. I would say this was Ernest's third movie. Time to snoop on how the other half live in the sweet area. Very nice. It must be movie under the stars time. What film is it? We'll find out later. Should we go to Spellbound? Oh no, coming soon. Time for the King of Beers and then new for Princess Cruises. It's Hot Pot. Find out more about this in our food review. I'm still four weeks later trying to break into that ice cream. Couple 
dance competition, anyone? Ah, movies under the stars. Tonight was dirty dancing. Ernest wasn't interested. This guy was loving it. In the pool. Ooh, sneaky look at the sweet area. Lounge. Very nice. Back to the food theme. It was time to order room service. Tonight was jam and peanut butter and a key lime pie. Oh, it's the next day. Good morning, Crete. Here comes a tip. In the mornings and see lunches, head to the back of the buffet, the eatery, and it's really quiet. Oh, here we go again, the screen. Are you brave enough? Oh, quick mention of this, this is really cool. You can find out about all the destinations that Princess goes and you can also locate all of the ships. Really cool. Oh, is part 19 open yet? Nope. This is the beautiful Sun Princess, new for 2024. That was me doing the intro of the ship tour. What you didn't hear was Ernest moaning in the background. Time for pizza. This was four cheese pizza. Tasty. Ernest then was filming for me. I thought he was doing a great job. He then found it hilarious that he was doing this. Brilliant. Oh look, another premier dessert. I make that number three. And it's with the dance proving we get it all. Adam Lambert and Queen this afternoon. Cheers. Time for a vloggy artistic shot of us leaving Crete. Dinner was the teppanyaki. Once again, it was all going off in the atrium. Look at those moves. Randomly given chips in the pub, we didn't need these. This light was brilliant, look. It just lights up. Amazing. Artistic shot to end the night. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to a sea day. Yes. Look at that, doesn't look absolutely stunning. So what's our plans today? Well, we haven't got any. We're just gonna go with the flow, I think. If you haven't been on MSC or Icon of the Seas, you won't have seen these lifts. They're great. You choose your floor, it gives you a lift, and you go in it, you don't have to press anything. But every single time, I always went to go and press a floor once I was in the lift. Oh, some daytime entertainment, not sure what this was. And then another artistic shot, followed by a lunch and it was celebrating St. Patrick's Day. I thought this was lovely, but Ernest reckons it was some sort of meme. I don't know what he's talking about. Oh, back on the screens. Sound effects this time. Oh look, time for the fancy lifts, but at sea. Much more artistic, this one. Look at this, one for the shorts and Insta. 
I make this pudding number four. And this time I actually decided to film myself eating it and time myself. It was around 10 minutes, but luckily I fit it into about 20 seconds. We then had the privilege of heading to the bridge for a tour. The captain was amazing. We thank all his crew and this was really, really cool. What a place. If you ever get a chance to head to a bridge, do it. It's amazing. It was the American diner for dinner, which is not actually American diner, but just does American diner food. I'll see the food guide to see what I'm talking about. Oh look, we obviously didn't have enough burgers, chips, etc. So we had to order room service. Beers, tea, key lime pie, what a strange combination. Good morning, welcome to Naples. Cheers another English breakfast tea and another ports. So yeah, and today we're in Naples. Wasn't really planning to get off, but Ernest is doing about Pompeii at school. So I think we're gonna head there and I think we're gonna head on the train. Right, I'm gonna be quick. There's a man singing shortly. Walk was about an, a half an hour walk. I kept on telling Ernest another five minutes. The station was a bit confusing. Ticket was really cheap. And the train only had two stops. Man singing, go. At the station you do have to ask lots of questions and once you get to the Pompeii station you don't need to buy a ticket from the people at the station. There's loads of tickets at the booth, the official tickets. Ernest was studying it at school and he absolutely loved Pompeii. Let's have a little bit of ancient music while we go around. Oh that was a bit quick. And then it was time for some tacos this time. Really loved all the food up here on the Lido deck. Oh, actually, we had burger. Oh, we had a pizza. Oh, yeah, yeah, we kind of had everything apart from the green stuff. Today it was Crowded House. I only thought they had one hit, but apparently they don't. Oh, and it was back to our favourite pools and this hot tub and swimming in the pool. We tried to order some food but it was a bit patchy and it never came. For the Irish bar for dinner. Time for one of our favorite comedians, Gareth Oliver. He lost the audience a little bit to start with as they're all Canadians and Americans, but the last 15 minutes was excellent. As always, well done, Gareth. Oh, it's another pour. Oh, it's time to go home, we're in Rome. Disembarkation was all good and then we decided to get a taxi which cost us 75 euros each. There was eight people in this taxi. We decided to do it last minute. We didn't mind spending the money, but the taxi driver was loony. He made 600 euros, went 100 miles an hour. We got there in 35 minutes. Wow. And then it was our journey home. Once again, great crew, we ate loads, it was on time, and we had stunning views of the Alps. What a five days, what a boys tour it was. We love the Sun Princess, and hopefully we can go back on and check out Park 19 one day. Thanks Ernest for your company, thank you for your company, and press on the screen right now if you would like to see our full food guide to Sun Princess.